Welcome to Sailing Amory. I'm Janelle and this is John and this is our daughter Adeline. We are just an ordinary family showing you that you can make your dreams come true. We said goodbye to our life on land and we are now sailing our 43 foot yacht Amory. Join us as we set sail on our journey discovering what the beautiful world has to offer. Don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along on our adventures. This morning, we're going to do a milk run. We've run out of milk and yogurt. And gas. And gas. So we're going to leave here at Sid Harbour. Hopefully sail to Abel Point. <coughs> Anchor up. Maybe for the night. We'll just see how the weather is. <coughs> Get what we need and shoot over to Stonehaven. And hopefully catch some fish. <laughs> Forecast is for 20 knots today, so wow, we're hidden behind the island, so we haven't really got much wind yet. But if it does pick up, this trusty old flag will come out and we'll turn the engines off. Pretty good day out here. I'm glad I can share it with you. Wow, today went downhill. We anchored at Able Point to save a bit of money. Juno went in, got milk and yogurt. And because we can't really get off the boat, we don't know if it's going to drag in Early Beach. I stayed on the boat, put Adeline to bed, and Janelle rode the push bike 14 k's into BCF to fill the gas bottle. And then it pissed down rain. She's not happy. So she's in having a warm shower. So I've booked the marina. <laughs> We're gonna go in, I'll take her out to dinner. See if I can make it up to her. We made it into the marina. Took Janelle out for pizza. And her favorite Matzo ginger beer. Okay. And I think she's doing alright. Jan, you doing alright? I'm working on it. We've left Able Point Marina. And we're sailing back to Stonehaven this morning. Pretty good sail. And Adeline's asleep. Nah, we got like 10 to 15 knots, so we're just sailing at about 5 knots. We're going to have to do a tack, but we're sailing again, which is good. Janelle's relaxed. Yeah. We had pizza and brekkie out this morning. But we didn't have pizza this morning, we had pizza no. and drinks last night. After a bit of a hectic day, which I will touch on when this emotional scarring passes. What do you mean? Like, you filled up, when you filled up the gas bottle? <laughs> In the pouring rain and rode 10 kilometers to do it and fell off my bike, yes, that's what I mean. Bad, bad husband. So at the moment we have one reef in the main and a full Genoa out. And the wind's a little bit inconsistent today. I'd say five, between five and 15 knots we've been getting. We're currently only doing 2.9, but we have been averaging about five.
about 15 knots now. I've put one reef in. The bait seems to be a bit overpowered at the back. So the autopilot is always trying to round it down. So one reef and it just powers along beautifully. So we're doing about six and a half knots now. Sometimes, oh, 7.2. But absolutely perfect conditions. We got our friends sailing next to us. We're all going to Stonehaven. See if we can't catch some cray and some fish for dinner. I've got, I do have the lure out, of course. Well, we're getting, we're getting closer to the islands now. And uh, we get a few, we get quite a few bullets coming off the island. So I've switched to hand steering, just trying to get as much into the wind. We're, we're on a good course, but want to try and hug the wind. So I'm, oh, you know, we've got apparent wind now, 20. So I'm just hugging it at 30 degrees off the wind and we're still averaging 6.7 to 7 knots and I think we've probably got another 45 minutes till we drop the anchor. Adeline, put the reef in it! Put the reef in! Adeline's just finished putting two reefs in the main and she's gonna go and water the plants, okay? Yeah, a little bit of plant watering. We've just pulled up to a nice little bay. It's called Cove's K or Caves Co or something. I'll tell you on the map soon. Janelle's up the front there, <coughs> directing me onto the mooring. <coughs> Adeline's here. Oh, wants to play the phone. Morning all, we are heading over to Butterfly Bay. No, Blue Pearl Bay, butter, Butterfly for the night. So I'm just gonna drop mooring. So we've got old J-Dog over here, always trying to risk it for the biscuit and get the good footage. Going pretty close to Hayman Island over there, right where it says, do not go so shallow. We've stayed, we've stayed 50 mile <laughs> off the reef, which is 50 mile <laughs> off the island. So you says can't in the really book. see nothing from it here. It says in the book. It says on the plotter too. Blue Pearl Bay is located on the western side of Hayman Island. It is a popular spot for tourists to come and snorkel and dive. 
The iconic Cayman Island Resort can be seen just over the hill and it reopened in 2019 following a $135 million refurbishment. It is known as one of Australia's most iconic private island resorts. And a little fun fact for those who are old enough to remember that old airline ANSET, well they originally acquired the island in 1947 and spent a whopping $300 million to transform the island into a luxury resort. Adeline's in bed, Janelle's doing a bit of catch up, and I always try and do some work. I'm down here polishing the back of the boat, and have a look at me mate. And here's me mate. They're just, they're just feeding on, what do we got here? Just tiny little fish. Keep your toes in board. Right, back to me polishing. Well, I'm sure a few of your toes could afford to be eaten. Hey. <laughs> be nice, otherwise your boat's not getting polished. There is a bushwalk on the southern bay which you can follow around to the resort. Having visited this spot and done the walk quite a few times, we have only ever walked to the top of the hill as we just presume that such an exclusive resort like this wouldn't appreciate yachty day trippers like us walking through.
close enough, you'll see our good friend Emma demonstrating how to do the snake stomp to avoid being bitten by a snake. Thanks Emma. Well, we have pulled up, come off the mooring at Blue Pearl Bay, and we're just, as you can see in the background, heading back past the front of Hayman Island Resort. On our way back south, we've got a wedding to go to. Mm, can't wait. Food wine anyway we're out here we're heading back we got one night before we have to be out back at Long Island um, I pulled in the lure green zones everywhere but we'll stop off one tonight not sure where but we'll, we'll let you know but it's quite a nice day as always thanks for watching we still can't believe that so many of you love following along on our adventures. A big thanks to each and every one of you for your support each week.